Hey folks, welcome to day three. Uh, this is just before I start day three, so it's three o'clock. Uh, I'm probably going to play for a few hours today, see what happens and make a little montage. Uh, before I <clears throat> begin the video, I wanted to just show what I've been up to and where we are in the current build. So you can see sort of the damage and you can base the damage off the gear. You see it and figure it out where you are, if you're ahead, if you're behind, whatever. So again, we found the exalt, we sold it and we bought two wasps nests. Now I don't know if these have gone up or down in price. I don't know. They're really bad rolls. They're just anything I could get my hands on. I decided to put these on because... They're just what I bought. You can use daggers, and I think daggers might even end up working out better. Um, but we got two wasp nests. We got a helmet. Uh, this helmet dropped uh, during the campaign, and it just got my cruel lab enchant on it. It got some frost blades or something. Just stuck a bit of life on it. It's okay. It's nothing amazing. It didn't cost me anything. Uh, inside that, I've got my whirling blades set up with faster attacks and fortify, so that's looking a bit more juicy now. Um... The gloves were, again, just found during the campaign. A couple of resists chuck some life on. These have just got Venom Gaia and they've got Herald of Agony in. I'm not really too sure why I have this, to be honest. It's it's a bit weird. It kind of like procs and then it shoots them all out. I never really use it. I'm, I'm not really too sure what I'm doing with that. Uh, my belt, uh, it cost me four Chaos. Uh, it had a bit of life, it had some fire resist and lightning resist, and it had the strength I needed to allow me to equip my boots. Now my boots cost me 4 chaos, move speed, 2 reses, and a tiny bit of life, really not good. And I just put a wither totem on, so you can wither people now. So that should help for maps. And again, just the tabula that we found. The ring, this is something I found during the campaign. Kind of just stuck with it because it's got some intelligence on it. And this cost me, I think, 2C. And I put some chaos damage to attacks on it. Uh, the amulet, again, just found during the campaign. It's actually got literally nothing on it. I probably should see if I can put anything on that. Um, I could put some resists on it, some attributes. Uh, so there is something there I could do with it. Yeah, probably should. Let's have a look. Uh, maybe chaos damage, increased chaos damage. But is it really worth 3 out? So I'm probably going to replace it. Probably not, so I'll just leave that for now. Uh, I've also got these skittering room bots, um, which give you these little robots, which I think shock things if they go near them. I don't know if that's worth it or not. Um, they're kind of a new thing. And that's kind of where we're at right now with the campaign. So everything's like set up correctly. Now we need to see if it will actually function. Alright, it's now the, I guess, the evening. Uh, I've played a little bit, gathered my thoughts, collected some clips to show you. Figured I'd be, again, continuing with the honest theme. Let's explain how Cobra Lash is feeling. I think yesterday we said it was, what, a 5 out of 10? Today it's feeling 4 out of 10. I feel like it's dropped to level. In some ways, it's gone up. In some ways, it's gone down. So the footage you're seeing is a little bit of delve. This is the earliest delve you can do. So, I recommend that if you've got some spare sulfite before you go into maps, go and do your low-level delves, and you'll be able to pick up some currency nodes, a few little things that you can sell. That obviously gives you a little bit of currency to help get you going. Maybe you haven't found much in the campaign, <clears throat> so I usually just waste my sulfite, travel around the low-level nodes, see if I can get any chaos, any, you know, anything useful. Also this, anyone can translate, I have no idea what that says, but... That was something I traded with. So yeah, after I've picked up my currency nodes and geared myself up, which you've seen earlier on about my new gear, got my wither totem and everything and leveling up loads of Cobra Lash gems, figured I'd just show you how it feels. And this has been kind of how it has been feeling. You go in, you smash some packs. It feels okay, not great, not bad, not, not amazing, but it, it works and it feels okay. Then you get to some of these ones, and I don't know if this is my build been bad, or it's the league mechanic been overtuned, or it's me misplaying them and using the wrong turrets. It's very unintuitive, like everything in Path of Exile. And I find it very difficult with this Cobra Lash build to stop damaging. 
to then build the turrets because my damage isn't the best so i have to be constantly throwing out damage to leech and live and survive which then i really don't want to be pressing the turret buttons but then if i don't have turrets up i ended up I end up dying with like a lot of money and then the pump gets destroyed and I get no rewards and all in all it just doesn't feel very fun. On bosses like this you can even see this is a tier 1 boss and I've got two wasp nests on. I mean the damage isn't bad but I feel like I should be doing more um, for I guess my level of gear like a 6 link with two wasp nests. I feel like it should be better than it is. Um, so a lot of it has come down to, I guess, placement of the, I guess we're calling them, let's just call it league mechanic. The placement of the league mechanic makes a large difference to the build. When they're all sort of in a channeled sort of funnel and they're all coming towards you, you can sort of get turrets up, deal damage and dot them and you can clear it. When they're all spread out, I can't direct damage in four different directions right so it becomes difficult uh since playing maps i did notice that breaches got buffed uh it's not their density that got buffed they actually open or expand faster so they have the same amount of monsters in it just happens a lot faster which i guess gives the placebo effect of looking like more density but I also am pretty sure there is a little bit more density in there, to be honest, because breaches have been lacking for a while, and I guess rightly so, they got buffed, and it, it feels quite nice to actually find a breach in a map. I'm actually enjoying breach more than the league mechanic, which is slightly odd, because you can see when you open a breach, it expands really rapidly, and there's plenty of stuff to hit. Now, my damage isn't bad by any means. It's functioning and it's working. It's just not feeling good. Like, sometimes a build works, but you're just not feeling it. And currently, which may change, I'll keep you updated as I carry on playing. But currently, it's like lacking a little bit. When you get a Wither Totem down and you get a boss like this and you don't run out of mana and you he's kind of stationary, all the poison stacks up, he dies pretty fast. But again, a lot of the time, I'm ending up playing this weird playstyle. You'll see this green circle appear around me like now. And that is Plague Barrier. And Plague Barrier is effectively like this poison dot thing. That Imagine it like Poison RF. So you kind of wanting to keep at range because your spectral throw kind of style. You're kind of wanting to be close because you want to leech and you want to get all the nice chains. But you also don't want to be close because you're really squishy. But you kind of want to be close because Plague Bearer is carrying me. So at the moment, you'll get a situation like this. Where this is a really nice uh, league mechanic. There, There's plenty of tunnels. But they're all travelling in the same direction. Or at most two directions. So you can like deal with one. And then as your turrets buy a bit of time. You can spin around and deal with the other side. However, sometimes you just get completely overwhelmed and it breaks and it feels awful because it never feels good to fail a league mechanic. Now, this is one that felt quite nice because in this instance, this is where Plague Bearer is beginning to carry me. Um, that It stacks up, you press it and then you dive into it. However, I'm already imagining in high tier maps, which I'm not in them yet. Uh, my highest tier map I managed today was a 5 because I just don't really have any maps. Um when you're in a closed environment like this and you dive in with plague bearer on you actually do a lot of damage and you clear it really well but in a higher tier map i can't imagine myself wanting to dive in with a shadow assassin low life type of build i just imagine i'm going to get deleted so i'm a bit i guess hesitant because i think it's going to be goddamn awful late game which goes against what everyone has been saying because poison's meant to scale. But I'm a little bit concerned, so I guess I just thought I'd voice that. Uh, we found our first trial. Our first trial was uh, Burning Rage, I think it was, or something. And yeah, that came out in about the 10th map or something like that. You know, these trials are long and awkward and nobody really enjoys doing these trials, do they? But you have to do them. And eventually, you know, you... You get through them. One interesting thing to note is the the actual plague bearer. If there are any players, sorry, cobra lash. Sometimes it shoots downhill. Sometimes it shoots uphill. 
Sometimes it shoots through doors and then other times it just doesn't want to do it. So it can be quite finicky to play the skill. Like there it's shooting down nicely, but other times it, it won't. So it's a little bit hit or miss depending on the trajectory that you're shooting and everything, if it actually works. But yeah, hopefully, I guess tomorrow or when I next play, I'll be looking at maybe sitting in the global channel and trying to get my ascendancies done for Uberlab because Uberlab might help me out. And also I need to work on making some currency to get the flask that basically means half of my multiplier affects my poison, the perfect agony flask. Um, but as you can see, the clips are just of me failing the league mechanic today, which was never really that enjoyable. Uh, it's never really enjoyable to fail a league mechanic, and I'm pretty sure it turns a lot of people off. So it's either my build sucks, I'm doing it wrong, or it's overtuned. We're not quite sure yet. We'll have to keep testing and playing and finding out. I did, however get a lich today um and this is kind of a test of single target i've taken out gmp uh i think this is a tier a tier three map so not really big content uh but even in this i think my tooltips had like twenty six thousand, but it was even kind of sketchy in here fortunately we got murder boots and that is all she wrote but i thought i'd just give you another update for day three there's not been too much going on there's just been a little bit of action and a lot of failing league mechanics. So let's hope day four is better. Uh, if you're enjoying it and you want to see more, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to go further, sub Tembers on, it's cheaper Twitch subs, or you can just straight donate through a description link. Obviously, that's entirely optional. Uh, I'm going to keep making the videos anyway. They're just options to support. So thanks for watching. See you in day four.